Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.co.uk back again with another needle and thread and needle point nook project um, this is the stamp set we're using called needle and thread and um, this has got really some images which have got um, a, a, a photographic effect on that actually look like stitched images um, and some lovely threaded images as well for you to accent your projects with and this coordinates with this beautiful paper here which is called needle point nook um, and in here you've got lots of different um, images so the front of, of all the paper is of sort of lovely stitched images and then the reverse are gorgeous plain colours that will go with anything so you've got everything from kind of butterflies through to flowers and smaller floral images as well um, and um, some beautiful bright colours in there as well so the card we're making is just a zigzag fold here so it's rather nice it's just a, a little bit different um, and it just shows off both sides of that paper gives you a nice area here to write your um, sentiment in but it means that when it stands you get this pretty effect here so you so say you, you can just see the paper all the way through um, and then I'm using one of the fabulous new punches we've got which is this one um, I can't remember what it's called right this moment. Um, anyway, it's available just up to the end of March at the moment, but if it's popular, it may well carry over. And I do hope so, because it's a really great um, punch with those lovely little scalloped corners. So let's get on with the project. To start off with then, you're going to need your trimmer and you're going to need a piece of cardstock. And this is just ordinary Whisper White and it's 11 and a half by five and a half inches. So that will um, obviously cut out of both UK and US car, um, A4 cardstock and you're going to turn that to with the long edge at the top and you're going to score at three and three quarters I almost made a mistake there just well I checked um, three and three quarters and seven and a half inches I will do the measurements in centimeters as well I haven't done them yet um, just because it doesn't always don't always have time um, and then you're going to mark this edge here at two and three quarters so just put a little mark in there okay and that's going to be our front panel so we're going to actually cut down to the first score line so you're going to come down three and three quarter inches about nine and a half centimeters and then we're going to cut that away seven and a half then you're going to cut diagonally so line up that point there and you're going to line up the second score line down here okay so this one there so you're going to line up the cut and the score line because you're going to be creating this effect here okay so that's just to show you so you're going to again line that up line the score line and then cut that diagonal piece like so so you end up with a piece of cardstock you can see that looks like this okay so I'm going to pop the trimmer away just for a moment we'll come back and do our card layers and um, DSP layers in a moment so then what I want you to do now is just fold and burnish those score lines and as always we always fold on the score line line it up as well and burnish before we fold it back on itself and that just helps avoid the, any cracking okay. and so you end up with your pretty zigzag like so so um, now on to the layers you're going to cut a piece of card and I've chosen this sheet here I've gone for slightly different colours actually and you need to decide which way you want the pattern on the reverse to be so I'm going to have my you can either have it, obviously the dots going across I'm going to have them vertically so I want to cut this way just make sure the pattern orientates okay that way which it does so you're going to trim at three and a half inches okay so we're lining up at three and a half inches and cutting a strip all the way down 
you're then going to cut a piece of DSP at five and one eighth. You're going to mark it at um, two and a half. on this bottom edge and then you're going to cut diagonally like so and that's going to be our piece for there okay so that is using the three and a half inch width now with your piece that's left over you're going to cut it to three and a quarter inches so just take off a quarter of an inch and you want to cut a piece um, that is two and three quarters just for the back panel and a piece that is two and a quarter and that's for the front. So there are three pieces of designer series paper and then I'm going to cut, I've actually decided rather than the um, the Highland Heather, I'm actually going to go for a darker, gorgeous grape on that, which I hope is going to contrast well. Um, and I'm going to cut two pieces of, of card now. Um, I'm going to cut one piece, which is three and a half by three inches. So it's three inches and that's three and a half. And I'm going to cut a second piece which is three and a half by two and a half. That piece wasn't quite big enough. So I'm going to two and a half by three and a half. Okay. So hopefully that should be all my little pieces done. So there we go. What you've got now is you've got a piece. Put the right piece away. So this piece is going to go on the back here, leaving a space for our sentiment. This piece is going to go on the front here, again, leaving space for our sentiment. And this one is going to go on the reverse. Now, obviously you could cut a piece to go on the inside there. Um, I haven't, I don't really think I, I needed to do that um, today. Okay, so let's put our layers together then. going to grab my snail which is my glue of choice particularly for videos but it's so convenient just pop that in there and the same that's just picking up on that highland heather but adding a slightly deeper hue um, and although we're not adding kind of texture directly because the DSP itself already has kind of texture built into it we've got our inbuilt kind of texture element to our card And then adding some lovely contrast. Really should have changed my grid paper, shouldn't I? Leftover card making. Okay, so this piece goes over on the left here. And then flip that over and you're going to add your adhesive, which has just run out. Okay. Just back to my fuse. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be one of those, isn't it? Okay, let's see if I can get third time lucky. Okay, I just have to be a little more careful being fused that I get this right on first attempt. There we go. So there we'll see our card. Now I've got a scrap of Whisper White cardstock here and I'm going to go with the gorgeous grape, I think. And again, change it up slightly. I'm going to stamp friend. That's my sentiment. And then I think I'm going to use some Highland Heather for my accents. Because I think the just gorgeous grape on its own might be a little bit much. So I'm just going to put a couple of butterflies on. Add these little triples. 
see how that looks for the moment. So if I come in with my punch, there we go, and pop that through the middle there. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a couple of butterflies off on the side there. Another one here. And then I'm going to punch a second butterfly. Butterf I'm not going to punch a butterfly at all. I'm going to punch a second piece of cardstock out of my contrast. And I'm going to cut that up the middle with my paper snips, like so. To create my board. Now I'm going to put that down like that. Just flip that over and put my glue I just find it easier to line that up. I just want a tiny little order. And again, the same there. Oh well, I've got a bigger border at the bottom, never mind. And then that can pop up on some dimensionals. So that's giving us a little bit of um, height on our project. I can only find my mini ones. I'm a messy crafter. I'm always doing work on top of myself. So all you need to do is just one of those in each corner. And just pop that in the middle there. And there we have a quick and easy zigzag card to give us a cascading effect, as you can see there. You can't see because I'm holding it out of camera. Great. And this one here. All of them using the needle and thread um, stamp set and coordinating um, the new punch, which name I can't remember. However, if you'd like to buy one, pop along to my blog, flutterbyheidi.co.uk, and I'll put the link to it there because it's only available for a short amount of time. And I really would be so chuffed if you were to choose me as your demonstrator. Um, I think, you know, there, there are lots of big demonstrators out there, um, but it really does mean a lot to um, to me as a, as a uh, you know, relatively small demonstrator to have people choose me and of course you'll always get my my usual thank you card and uh, I usually pop a little something in the post too as well as, as my customer thank yous and uh, don't forget to use the host code because then you get extra goodies thanks for watching come uh, come back and see me again soon and I'll hopefully have some more projects for you using yet more of the gorgeous Stampin' Up products and if you have any queries then don't hesitate to give me a shout um, I'll do my best to answer them as soon as I can thanks for watching bye now